Happy day and welcome to the Susan and Celeste Homestead. Please like, subscribe, share, follow, all that fun stuff. You never know what you're going to find. There's a lot to see, a lot to love, perhaps even laugh. So, but today's Susan and Celeste Homestead is to highlight our favorite bees, the Carniolas. It's above 50 degrees, it's been rainy, and they are out in full force. We're definitely gonna be doing a split on this hive. It's our favorite, most docile bees. They're wonderful and they're exceptionally beautiful. Look how tight the bands are. They glisten. I don't know where he's getting that pollen from. Did you see that? Wow. Let me see if I can get a little closer. I'm not saying they will bite me, but they're fairly docile. Let's see. I wanna see if we can see any more pollen coming in. I don't know what would be giving pollen unless it's like a they also collect sap from trees, so maybe they're collecting that to make some sort of Bruja Bee Magic Medicine to heal the hive, to prevent vomer mites. What? Who knows? One thing they are doing is going out because they've been stuck inside. They go to the bathroom. The new bees do that little circle orientation flight because they've never been out of the hive. They hatched in darkness and they just had vibrations. They do the orientation flight and they figure out where the hive is in relation to the sun. And that's how they get to come back after they go out and forage and take a dump and take a leak. So it's a wonderful sign. And put out this little feeder when it's warm. And look at what they're doing. It's dripping back because it's not level. But as you can see, they're going to town. I wonder if they got, it's like a, a piney taste. It's Costco organic sugar. And it is cut about three quarters to one quarter water. Oh, there they go. Let me see if I can get in there. This feeder is designed. Well, it doesn't seem to be focusing. Sorry, oh, there you go. So it's designed that it has a few little holes in the mason jar and it drips down. I think I'm on, there we go. I'm sorry. And it drips down and the bees go in there. Let's see if we can get, oh. And they go on the top. I had it here all night in the storm, so it dripped down and you can kind of see where it's wet. That's why they're feeding on the outside. Right now, most of the time, they're just here to feed. I can get close up to them every now and then one lands on me. I have a red shirt, they've been checking me out. But Carniola honeybees, unless you're really attacking them, they really ain't gonna attack you. One thing to keep in mind is a feeder this close to the hive could attract robbers and bring other bees in. I know this is a really strong hive. It's not gonna be warm for long, so I wouldn't keep the feeder that close all the time. We have one in the back for the back bees, and that one's further away from the hives. But this is an excellent sign. We'll keep you posted. We gotta learn more about doing a split. And hopefully this will be our uh, beehive chi, chi house, bee house chi house, which we're gonna take our elevated um, tree house that came with the property, redo it in cedar, and make an observation hive out of the ceiling. Mm, star watching. It's going to be incredible. Even bee aromatherapy will have a way that it can vent out. Have a fantastic day. Love a bee today.